for a few people who uh, kind of made note to me and said, oh, hey, you haven't really done any updates on your layout in a while. Um, I should explain kind of what's been going on. Um, we had to kind of consolidate a lot of storage in our place currently because uh, we have a little one coming. And that will be probably, I, I think it's the end of December, uh, sorry, end of November, beginning of December, uh, somewhere in there. The due date for my wife is December 2nd, but she has a feeling it'll be a little bit sooner than that, so maybe more like Thanksgiving. But uh, at any rate, needing to uh, make more use of the space down in our basement as a result of needing to have a little one upstairs uh, means that we need to reshuffle some things, and it meant I had to drastically scale back, at least for now, on the layout till we have a home. So... I went from my original layout, which was the 12 by 12 across four tables down to the single three by six, which is still gonna give me a fair amount of action. Um, and I can still run most of my stuff, of course, a little bit more spread out. Uh, stuff will have to be stored and, and put away. I'll only be able to have a few things out at a time, but it's kind of nice. It means I can rotate through my stock and collection and have a few things out at each point and change things out on a somewhat regular basis and the layout that I've designed here um, is, is actually based off of another YouTube site uh, or another YouTube channel and uh, I tweaked it a little bit for my own purposes but it's a nice layout for a 3x6 table and later on uh, when the opportunity presents itself I can take a couple of these places here where there are curves now and expand it out um, and allow for, you know, extension onto a second table. Either I can take uh, this climb that was over here and I can extend it out one way. Uh, this upper curve can come out and, and do something a little bit different. So it'll give me some options when I have more room to expand again. But the reason you haven't seen anything is because I was working on consolidating and getting ready to do this. Um, so I had to pack everything away, sort out what I had, figure out if there was anything special I needed. And there were a couple of small adaptations, uh, a couple of viaduct sections that you see over there and, uh, some larger radius curves for the outside. Um, so I got those and then I'm using the Woodland Scenics foam risers now. So I'll actually have a multi-level layout, which is not what I originally had in mind. But uh, this, is, this is actually working out quite well. So um, I started doing gluing of this foam down. I'm going to be doing more work with that in the next week or two. And there's some places you can see here the, mark, the uh, markings in black. Um, you know, these are areas where I'm going to, after the foam is secure, I'm going to do some trimming. So the track on these inner loops will lay flat there at that point. Uh, I'll have to do, you know, some different smoothing out sanding, cutting some custom pieces, and doing some fits for covers and things like that for tunnels. But uh, this will give me a nice little operational layout, not take up too much space, and, uh, you know, this is going to be shared with office space uh, for my wife and myself, at least for the foreseeable future, so we needed to have some of that space back. But at any rate, this is, uh, this is the setup now, and... As soon as I have some more footage uh, and more progress to, to, to show, I'll post it up here and it'll be also on Facebook um, so you'll be able to see where things are going and where, how I'm doing things. Uh, so anyway, that's, that's why there hasn't really been any more in the way of update videos as of yet. I've been restructuring for this and right now I'm just running a portion of my 20th Century Limited set. Um, this is nine the nine car main set and the two locomotives i actually have run the full 13 cars and it will fit uh, on this outer loop which is the condensed loop actually it's uh just a straight loop it does fit on there without looking too much like it's doing a chasing its tail routine it'll be even better on the inner loop once i have all the necessary support stuff done and that's my longest set at this point so if that runs here fine then everything else will be just fine as well so you know a little bit of progress in, in in the most important ways and as I said 
the big part is, of course, we have a little one coming, and that's the most exciting thing because it means another person that I can indoctrinate, I mean, uh, bring up <laughs> with trains. And, uh, you know, hopefully, hopefully the little one will get excited about seeing this too. Um, but anyway, that's where things are at for now, so there's more to come. And uh, thanks to, um, I'm not sure how you want me to put this, I'll just say S-Pins. That's the channel that uh, I saw a very similar design to this on. Uh, the gentleman on it did a great primer on simple DCC wiring and DCC layouts. And, and this is actually roughly based on his track plan. It's slightly modified. So a big thanks to you for sharing your info a couple years back with me. I took it, as you can see, and adapted it, and it, it, has, it fits perfectly. It's fantastic. So you did a great job with it, and I'm grateful to you for sharing it. So anyway, that's it for now. Hope you have a good week, and more will be coming.